So good morning, everybody. This is Sierra of Trap Kink Nation. Um, it's very early in the morning here. Um, but I really wanted to, um, like, I'm literally on this before I even clock in for work. Yes, I run a business and still have a full-time job, period. I, um, I wanted to get on here because there was, like, something on my spirit and um, I wanted to talk about it. So, shout out to Daisy Abravi. She's one of my brand ambassadors for Trap Kink, bringing this to my attention. And this is something that's been on my mind for a while um, now, since I, you know, started my hair care journey, since I started Trap Kink. Um, my whole inspiration for Trap Kink it's pretty much summed up in this tweet. Um, there's a um, shout out to a, a, a girl by the name of Sasa Coco Sanel. Um, she was like, a lot of y'all don't like how 4C hair looks naturally. That's why you're always pushing for people to drench their hair in moisturizer. That's why I have a lot of beef with this current natural hair movement. Um, and then somebody followed up and said the worst thing is everyone clickbaiting 4C so it's damn near impossible to get advice on real 4C hair. I don't know why they think it's cute, but that shit makes it so hard to find products. Um, that was, that was a word. Um, yeah, it was a word because they are right. Um, the amount of people calling for 4C hair and unkept in the quote is giving me anti-blackness mixed with texturism and classism, colorism, but that's nothing new. So I guess people was in the comments talking about, uh, hair, black 4C hair be unkempt and stuff like that. So... Yeah, one of the people said the movement was toxic and they jumped down her throat. So, what did I wanted to just this was on my spirit because one of the things the girls were saying was um like stop listening to what the YouTubers say um because you see 4C hair in the comments you see i mean you see 4c hair when you search and it don't be 4c hair girls it don't be girls that look like me it don't be girls that look like you it don't be girls who hair makes a sound and then when it is girls that look like us with their 4c hair it's a thousand fucking products they using they drenching their hair They're, they're still manipulating their hair. They're still manipulating their hair. They're still manipulating their hair. First of all, let's keep it real. All of them, all of them, um, when you go to the hair store, when you go to Walmart, when you buy them products, none of that shit is made by black women. And if it is, it's bought by L'Oreal. It's bought by big corporate. And this shit is saturated with all of those products. Saturated to give it shelf life. Listen to that word. Shelf life. It's not about your hair. It's about shelf life. We want to keep this shit on the shelves. And let them keep buying it. So it's not made to last. It's not made to put all those nutrients that you need in your hair. It's just saturating your hair. So much so that when you do stop using those products... Shedding. Your hair start falling out. Period. That's one of the reasons why I came up with my product. We don't need all that shit on our hair. We don't need EDTA. We don't need thyglocally. We don't need isopropyl. We don't need none of that shit in our hair. Our hair is not meant to be, our hair is not me meant to be looking like 
we something else other than 4C girls. Back in the day, you know, growing up, especially if you grew up in the South or like I grew up in the North, but if my mom would send me down South, you know, down South, you know, if you grew up up North and you got a big family, your family sent you down South in the summertime and shit like that. All the motherfuckers did was grease your scalp, part your hair, detangle your hair, and put that shit in some plants. Because that's all your hair is meant to do. And then when you want to take it out, you rock your hair fro. Pick it out. Boom. Our hair is meant to touch the sun. I be seeing some of these girls. And that's one of the reasons why when I invented my product, I looked for YouTubers. Those small YouTubers who should not be small. They should not be small. They have actual 4C hair and they got 1,000 views. They got 600 views. They got 37 views. But then when you type in 4C hair, it's this dark skin Malaysian girl or this, you know, it's this girl with some type of Asian and they fit. And I'm not, and I'm not, you know what? I'm not doing that because I'm not, I'm not doing it. You know what? I'm not doing that. We're not separating black women today. But it's definitely black women with not 4C hair. Not all natural 4C hair. There are some women like my daughter who don't just have 4C hair, have 4C, 4B, 4A. But meanwhile, it says 4C and those girls are shown. And most of their hair is 4A and 4B. You give them that pure purosity test, that density test, that hair goes right to the bottom. And that's another thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you really don't got 4C hair. You, don't, you really don't understand the density of your hair. It's a problem for me. I'm not going to do that though. But I just noticed that the algorithm is like, yeah, it's 4C, but it's 4C. It ain't our 4C. It's somebody else's 4C. And then when you do see the girls who are, who do have 4C hair, they, like the girl said, they using flexi rods and using all of these products. I saw one 4C girl in there promoting Suave. Suave. Promoting Suave. When? When was Suave ever made? When was Suave ever made for hair like this? When was Suave ever made for hair like this? When was Suave ever made for hair like this? And this is how I'm going to work today, by the way. I got in my Felicia braids. Because my hair don't need to be tamed. My, my hair don't need to be criticized. My hair is not unkempt. I put my natural oil in my hair, my daily trap oil in my hair. And then I'm braiding it up and I'm and I'm letting it be. I'm letting it be. They I see these flexi rods. I see Even like back in the day with the weave ponytails and stuff that they used to like make like us wear as dancers. I used to have to wear a weave ponytail. And I used to be like, why is it that I you notice that quote unquote word tender headed? Oh, my hair is sensitive in the middle. My hair is sensitive on the sides. Because your hair is not meant to be pulled like that. It's not. It's not. It's not. Your hair is not meant to have fucking got to be glue and sh mm -mm. all that so you can walk into the office. If my credentials come in that office, my hair is not a conversation. Huh. This was just really like on my spirit. 
because it like fucks it up because one girl was even in the comments was like don't watch no 4c youtubers so that fucks it up for girls like me that fucks it up for girls like daisy abrafi why can't you just wear your 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 plaids why you can't just wear your afro and guess what? When I take this out, I'm going to be rocking my air phone. That shit going to be standing right here. That shit ain't going to be floating all day. Uh-uh. I ain't got that. I ain't got that. I ain't, I ain't got that Tracy Ellis. Right. I got 4C hair. They are literally whitewashing that. They literally came into the game watching us on YouTube. And I'm not going to say watching us because I'm new. But I literally came to YouTube because when there was a fucking patch, all of this, you see this? This was not here. This was gone after using those products. After using these products that have been bought by L'Oreal that I thought were black owned but are no longer black owned. Or that I thought were black owned and owned by other um, other ethnicities. Whole patch. Because my, my black 4C hair. Like all black women with 4C hair. Changes. I had a baby. My hormones changed. So my hair follicles changed. My hair wasn't taking none of that shit. My hair woke me the fuck up. Girl dump all that shit in that cabinet out. You can't use none of that. None of that shit for you. Our hair the same way we put vitamins in our body. That's the only thing we should be putting in our fucking hair. My hair ain't met to my jet. My hair ain't. The only way my baby's hair is lays down is if I'm using my satin do-rag. And guess what? In about, hell, it's standing up now. In about two hours, that shit gonna be right on up. That's what it is. My hair ain't meant to be tamed. My hair ain't meant to be pulled back. And then bitches be wondering why they walking around with migraines. Or why your middle missing. My company is trapkink.com. Because I'm trapping moisture in your kinks. Your hair is not curly. My hair is not curly. My hair is not meant to be straight. My hair is kinky and stands out in the motherfucking sun. And the only thing I need to trap in there is essential motherfucking vitamins. Sorry if I'm saying motherfucker too much. But this was really on my spirit. <laughs> Oil. Natural butter. Period. Cleanse your scalp. Now, yes, you need to do some type of butter to trap the oil in your hair. But that oil should only be essential vitamins. It should not be no saturated bullshit. This was really on my spirit. That's why I'm reaching out. I want to connect with all real 4C YouTubers. So let's get this done. Shout out to Coco Sanel. Shout out to Daisy Brophy. Shout out to I'm Just Jackie. Shout out to Gemini Fly. Yeah. Uh, visit trapkink.com for your for your main product. All natural, 100% oil, ain't no glue, ain't no caramel, I mean, ain't no glue, ain't no, ain't no adhesive, ain't no nothing in it, but all natural, handmade ingredients. My hair is, I'm, I'm not, my, my goal is not to make you look Dominican. My goal is not to make your, lay, your baby hair is laid down like sweetie. My goal is to grow your hair. To protect your hair. 
to provide for your hair. But ain't no manipulation over here. All right. Thank you so much. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm going to just upload this as is. TrapKing.com. Thank you.